Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna show you how to transfer all your text messages from your Windows Phone. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to the Windows Phone Store. And we're going to download an app called Contacts and Message Backup. Oh, there is this blue one with the folder. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Um, you want to install that? Something a little. You want to install it, and then you're going to launch it. But make sure you launch it from this screen at the Windows at the Windows Store because. If you look for it on the list of your apps, for some weird reason it's not gonna be there, I don't know why. I have this other app that sound that is kind of named the same but it's, it's different, that's something something else. So it's not gonna be here, I don't know why. Um, so you're going to go to the Windows Store screen when you just wait until it is installed and then just click launch right there launch and then you're gonna click backup now here on this screen um, we're going to do we're going to do it separately because this app um, backs up your contacts and your SMS messages and your MMS messages uh, but we're going to do the contacts separately from the SMS messages and the MMS because for some weird reason uh, the app crashes and stops right in the middle of the backup so if you do it this way it is going to do it uh, uh, it's going to do it properly so select this and then click backup I have 475 messages it's almost on And now if you want to uh, back up your contacts, just select that and deselect the other two. Click back up. How 810 contacts. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. I already did it, so I'm just you know, gonna go ahead with the uh, example. So now after you do this, you're going to the file, the file explorer. Uh, you just want to make sure that you know how to find the, where it is downloaded. So uh, go to the letter F and select file explorer. There. I'm going to go back. So when you open it, it's going to show the list of uh, folders. I'm going to do it back over here. Um, you're going to select the little hamburger button and just select this device. Select downloads and you see the folder backup and restore. Open it and you, there you see the folder contacts backup and MMS backup. So what you're going to do to transfer to your uh, uh, Android phone. The way I did it anyway is that you're gonna open the mail, the mail app. Uh, it's this one right here. Uh, I think it's it is Outlook. It's, yeah, it's Outlook mail. Open it. And then you're gonna send a mail to an email to yourself. Uh, you're just going to type uh, you know, whatever email you have at email probably because you have an Android phone so just to email then 
title messages or whatever. Then uh, click the. Uh, if you can see right there, the little paper clip button. Uh, just select it. And we're gonna find the files. Just going to select this device. Then downloads. Backup and restore. I select the uh, MMS backup. Uh, it's gonna open. I have four because I have I did it several times, so you probably just gonna have one. So just select one, then click the check mark. Okay, it's going to appear right there. You see, that's the attachment. So you're going to do the other one, paper clip, and you're going to do it for the SMS. And then for the and then for the contacts, so all three files are gonna be here. So once you do that, just click the little arrow right here, and it's gonna send the email to yourself. Click it. And uh, now we're going to your Android phone. So here um, we're going to Gmail. You're going to find the email that you sent to yourself. Okay, there is messages. I'm gonna open it. So you're gonna see all the uh, the two attachments that you sent. I sent more than three, but uh, you're gonna see three. Um, and then, after you make sure you received it, uh, just click this little down arrow right here. Just click that, all three of them. And here in the in the drop down menu, it's gonna tell you downloading file. Right there. So after you do that, you do that. You're going to the Play Store. You're going to look for an app called Import SMS from Windows Phone Pro. There's going to be a free one that is not the Pro. That one is only going to import the SMS messages, but not or not your MMS messages. <clears throat> and you want you maybe you want the MMS messages because you have pictures uh, that somebody sent to you or attachments or group conversations so if you want all of that you want the pro if you only want the text SMS messages you might want the free one so it's up to you so once you download once you do that do that you're going to open it you're going to select import messages and the app is going to scan your folders and and if you did download the files is going to find them right here so you're going to click uh, the the files from this list uh, it's probably it's probably going to be only one so just click the one and uh, it's going to do the import and if, if you don't if you didn't find the files if the app doesn't find the this it have to look something like this uh, Tuesday March whatever or the month when you are doing this and then the the time it's got to it's got to be the exact date that you did this if it's something else it's probably some other file uh, that you did before so just make sure the the date and the time matches you know and then do the import so you want to do it uh, properly and uh, then if if um, they didn't download just go back to your, your G gmail and uh, do the download again. Um, now for for the contacts, just go to your file explorer on the on Android and go to the device storage and go to downloads and just look for the date and the time that you did you did it and. Uh, 
and the file is going to be a BCF file. Just click on that, and uh, Android is going to tell you uh, imported BCF files, whatever, and you're going to be able to list all your contacts. Then you're going to click save. It's going to import all of them, and so that's the way you do it. Uh, it's uh, you just need an app on Windows Phone and an app on the on Android. So hopefully this helps, uh, and uh, thanks for watching.